All right, I've got the Gulf 160 running. Um, it's windy today. It's really cold. Minus 15 wind chill. And I, I promised to do this for a long time. I wanted to show you how with the single phase alternator, we're putting in a sine wave <clears throat> into the bridge rectifier. If we run that AC leg first through a transformer, we can get pretty pure 110 volts. So I'm coming off the uh, the primary. I'm using this transformer backwards. So we're coming off the primary. So we're stepping, basically stepping up the uh, 12 volt to get 110 power. And that bulb's starting to get dim because the wind dropped just a little bit. And actually, I'm wrong. This is 24 volts, so I'm using the center, or no, the um, outside taps. So the two yellow wires would normally give you six volts from 110. So we're running in in reverse. So what what we're doing is taking 24 volts and stepping it up to 120. So that little bulb's running. I just thought that was kind of neat. So we know we're charging. Because the AC can't um, complete the circuit unless it's running through this bridge rectifier. Let's try a couple more bulbs, see what we get. Now there's two bulbs. And they are they are nicely bright. I don't think you can see that. The Gull 160s is eating up that wind. So we know these uh, bulbs aren't going to run off pure DC. We've got to run off AC. And that Gull uh, single phase alternator is going to put out AC. So those bulbs are running off. AC that's moving through this bridge rectifier. And they're they're staying pretty bright. I mean they're not oscillating up and down a lot. There they're getting slightly dimmer. Gives you a good read on the wind speed. Kind of a visual read. But it's not it's not flickery or strobey or anything. jumping up. These LEDs don't mind that changing uh, frequency. We know that because we can run them on our LJL at you know 19,000 Hertz so they're fine. So that's the frequency. Now this doesn't work unless you clamp the output voltage to either 12 or 24 volts and you can change this transformer to accommodate 24 or 12 volts because otherwise you'll burn these bulbs out they don't pull enough wattage to uh, control the turbine but these are these bulbs are burning pretty steady this uh, multimeter on the left is our battery voltage so these, these batteries are very well charged. You can see the charge state on them, a lot of that surface charge. And on the right you can see the the Hertz coming out of the alternator. It's about 90 Hertz. So I just thought this was pretty cool. Those bulbs right now are probably pulling about Oh, probably 10 watts. 10 watts of power, and we're still getting charge on the battery. So it's a neat way to co-generate, you know, if you want to run lighting and keep your batteries charged at the same time, you can do it. Just use this, this transformer. You could use a smaller transformer. I think this one is um, 3 amp. There the bulbs are getting a little bit dimmer. You can see the battery 
charge state has dropped down to 25. You can see as it picks up, the bulbs get a little brighter. Anyway, I just thought this was kind of neat. Give it a try. Let me know what you think.